All right, guys, we're looking at a pretty simple uh, single level home. Uh, it's built on a slightly sloping block. Uh, it has a lot of detail inside of this model because it actually needs it. Uh, you can build a house like this in six to eight weeks uh, quite easily and using a, a standard sort of set of plans uh, to do it. But finding out where there are potential issues is important. Where are the locations of our pipes in regards to our concrete or our joists? Uh, trying to figure out you know, where things all work together in the structure of a model is really important. Just as important as understanding the cost associated with such items. Now, if I went to all here and we did a quick bill of quantities on this, I'll just hit it right now. We kind of want to know where things are. So for instance, you know, how much have we allowed for the frame or you know, what type of screws do we have inside of the model? So you'll notice inside of the model that we actually have search functionality. So I can just type in here, say screws, and go search. And it's gonna go through and find all of those screws. I mean, you can see that I've got two boxes of 500 of batten screws there, and we've got roofing screws there, and we have supplies associated with them. Uh, we could also go through and we can close these things down because it's very easy to find information uh, when we're looking at it in this particular view, but we may want, we might want to know how much the frame is going to cost to install. So we go through and go search. And then we go, okay, well, we can see we've got build stick timber. So if I go show in model, what is it we're talking about for this price? So at the moment, we're looking at $4,000 to build all of these frames on site. And this makes it so much easier than actually being able to manually go through processes. So we can get out of here. I'm going to go and say show all the demand the geometry, go back to here and go seal. And we can look at this project as we're building it, the, what we're using inside of the project, find where errors are. We can turn things on and off and we can very, very quickly know where we're at. So if we said, let's turn our ground off here and have a look at how our pipe work goes through, the, including the sewer. Uh, we might be also wanna be looking at how our pipe work runs through the frames. Uh, so we could go back to say our structural view here and you can notice that we have our cold and hot water pipes there. All of this information is crucial to be able to getting a job out of planning into construction efficiently and understanding the cost associated with it. We didn't use any Autodesk products when we actually created these models. These models are all done with Plus Design built inside of SketchUp and they're very, very detailed. But they don't take long to do because all of this information has been automated by the tool sets inside of Plus Design built to create it which makes our job so much easier. And whether we got right down into, you know, window schedules or, or we got into um, structure or we had a look at bathroom diagrams, we can quickly see where everything's set out and then we can go through and continue detailing. And because it's a true live section, it makes it very easy for us to be able to solve these issues very, very quickly. Alright guys, if you've got any questions or you'd like to see this model or get a demonstration, by all means click on the link below, go through to the demonstration, book in a demonstration and we'll give you a, a good solid demonstration on all of the things that can be achieved for residential construction with building information modelling and virtual design and construction. Alright guys, cheers.